Bye. So here are 10 famous people with Asperger's. All that coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan, I have Asperger's syndrome, ADHD, OCD and dyslexia and I make weekly content on this type of subject. So if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more, remember to hit that subscribe button by clicking the notification bell down below. And if you're watching on Facebook, be sure to give this page a follow. And if you're watching on Instagram, make sure to follow this account for more autism video content. Okay, so welcome back guys, what's going on? The place where we think differently daily, what's going on? Different thinkers. Guys, if you haven't already, I have a free PDF download book of my uh, essentials strategies for autism life hacks, which you can download for free from autismhacks.net. Go and do that right now. Guys, excited. I haven't done one of these kind of like celebrities with autism kind of videos for a long, long time. Let me show you my focus here, guys. So I haven't done one of these videos for uh, a long, long time where I'm doing like celebrities with autism and stuff like that. So I've picked out 10 historical icons that are um, on the autism spectrum and uh, I want to go through them with you right now. This is super, super dope. Guys, if you have anything to add question-wise, you can always pop me a comment down here. I read every single one. Or you can hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. I message everybody back, and so I'm always open for DMs. Okay, so here are 10 influential historian icons um, who are famous, and they have Asperger's syndrome. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first one most notable, and probably most common, is Albert Einstein. He's an influential scientist, um, and he, you know, did the theory of relativity, and he uh, pretty much is just an absolute gem of a guy. Albert Einstein was very notably a, um, a bit of a, a different thinker, uh, and he was, uh, yeah, a scientist who did amazing things, and uh, yeah, he was also on the autism spectrum, because basically it was this, these were all done by people looking back at people who are histor historical figures and icons, and, and then kind of like applying the same kind of diagnostic criteria as they would today. So, um, that being said, Albert Einstein would be on the autism spectrum if he was run through the diagnostic today. Number two is Sir Isaac Newton. Now Isaac Newton, you know, the guy with the apple who fell down, he was kind of like the guy who discovered gravity and, um, you know, again, an influential scientist who had kind of a bizarre history. He, he actually at one point made um, his landlord create a staircase into the back of his house so he wouldn't have to see anybody on the way in um, because he wanted to just avoid human contact in all poss possible cases. He was just a very eccentric but very brilliant man and an influential scientist, obviously, for, for weights and phys physics and chemistry. But in terms of Isaac Newton, again, the things like social isolation and uh, trying to get away from, you know, social situations and his bizarre personality did mark him down as being an autistic person who would have been diagnosed with something like Asperger's syndrome if he was still alive today. Okay guys, so number three is Hans Christian Andersen. Now Hans Christian Andersen is a very famous author, uh, a very impactful author actually. I think he'd done, he'd done like so many books, but Hans Christian Andersen again was put through the same criteria and said that he had autism. So I always find that the Hans Christian Andersen one was very interesting because it's nice to see authors being uh, kind of on the autism spectrum and things like that because a lot of autistic people do have issues with reading and writing. So that was kind of cool. Okay, so number four is Charles Darwin, who is actually a very famous philosopher philosopher and a famous scientist and he kind of came up with that whole kind of theory of evolution and the fit to survive and all that kind of stuff so yeah Charles Darwin absolute legend of a guy and just all around proper gangster he was awesome okay so Number five is Thomas Jefferson. Now, Thomas Jefferson is an early influential American politician, um, and he was just absolutely just, you know, crazy and just came up with all this kind of um, crazy stuff. But he was very influential. He was very um, intense. He was very intellectual and had some great insight into things, especially American politics. It was kind of like his thing. So, of course, you know, when they said he was on the spectrum, and I do believe them from the things I've read about uh, Thomas Jefferson, and he's quite interesting. Okay guys, number six is Andy Warhol. Now Andy Warhol is a very famous photographer, probably like the most influential photographer of all time and he was so artistically creative but also bizarre and because of this it led him to be looked upon as being someone who'd be on the autism spectrum if he was put through the diagnostic criteria and uh, Andy Warhol is just a very, very very famous photographer who was just super influential. I think like he's probably the most influential photographer ever, I think. You know, his art is just insane. Okay guys, number seven is Nikola Tesla, obviously an amazingly clever scientist. Nikola Tesla is the reason we have electric going through our grid systems at the certain currents that they, they are in and it's just, he's just amazing. Fantastic guy. Very odd guy, but very fantastic. And of course, he had every single trait of autism you could think of. Um, and uh, just very clever guy, but uh, very troubled also. 
Okay, number eight this is an interesting one. This is Steve Jobs. Now, Steve Jobs is the creator of Apple, uh, for Apple Macintosh uh, computers, and um, he, uh, along with a guy called Steve Wozniak, set it up, but now it was just like Steve Jobs till the end, until he passed away, sadly. But Steve Jobs was a very eccentric man, very interesting, couldn't hold down relationships, um, had to wash his feet before going on stage. I actually remember seeing uh, the documentary, uh, sorry, it wasn't a documentary, it was a film documenting his life, but it was like a reenactment, and uh, he like washed his feet in the toilet bowl before going on stage because he just had to wash his feet, uh, which was just just an, an interesting guy, quite bizarre but interesting. Uh, but he wasn't he was terrible at relationships and didn't have any emotion. It was all about his work and uh, definitely um, on the autism spectrum. And this has been speculated for a very very long time. Okay, so number nine is Lewis Carroll. Now he again is a very famous uh, children's book author from a long time ago. But Lewis Carroll um, displayed all of the hallmarks of an autism spectrum disorder, which led people to believe that like now Lewis Carroll would be diagnosed with an autism spectrum condition. Okay, so last but not least on my list here is number 10, Stanley Kubrick. Now, Stanley Kubrick was the movie director for 2001 Space Odyssey um, and just the whole thing. Like, he, I think he also did The Shining with Stephen King. Um, but Stanley Kubrick was is just a very influential, very, very talented creative director um, of movies and stuff like that. And um, again, his intense kind of quirks and his differences and the way he thinks really put him online to being uh, seen upon as being a, an autistic person, which is just absolutely fantastic, and I think he's awesome. So yeah, that, that's really interesting. Now, if you guys have anyone else to add to this list that you think I've missed off, pop it in a comment down below, why not? If you liked this video and you thought it was fun, please share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.